So now the Baltimore Ravens could have even worse injury news. First, J.K. Dobbins, they lost him for the season to a torn Achilles. And now Marcus Williams, who also got hurt in the same game, it is feared that he tore his pec. Let's just read the report uh, from Ian Rappaport. He says, Ravens standout DB Marcus Williams is feared to have torn his pec in today's game. Source said he'll have an MRI to confirm another major injury for Baltimore. So, it's like they just keep piling up. They keep piling up. We talked about J.K. Dobbins earlier. Of course, we brought up Ronnie Stanley. There was Tyler Linderbaum, too, but Marcus Williams... And he was somebody that I remember last year They first signed him I loved the signing And then when he played I loved how he played even more So it justified the signing And then he missed a chunk of games With a broken wrist He came back He did his thing So this year I'm like Alright he plays the whole season Oh yeah It's gonna be real good It's gonna be nice And now he might be out Possibly for the whole season We'll see Hopefully Again Hopefully what they fear It doesn't end up Happening doesn't end up going down But It's like man These dudes can't catch a break I, I, I really do not know Or understand what it is Like this doesn't make Any kind of sense to me Whatsoever man Like I know uh, every team Deals with injuries I get that It's football it's an extremely physical sport I get it but it seems like Ravens, when it comes to injuries, they're like on another level from so many other teams, man. Their injuries not only uh, pile up, but the significance of the injuries that their guys suffer so consistently, it's crazy. It is really crazy, and something has got to give. I know over the past couple of years they've been talking about they are going to look at all these different, at what they're doing as far as training, as far as conditioning, as far as this, that, and a third when it comes to their players' health. But this is like crazy, man. This is really crazy, and I do not get it. I don't get it. Could it just be unfortunate circumstances? It could be. But with Ravens, it's been like a lot of unfortunate circumstances year after year after year after year after year. And I, I just don't know why. I, I, I don't get it. It is the craziest thing. So with Marcus Williams, hopefully he'll be straight, but I'm not like holding it. We holding out a little bit of hope. But I feel like we ain't really got that much left as far as these injuries, man. Not saying the season is over, so don't don't get it twisted because I don't believe that not one bit. But as far as like hearing about a, a guy, oh, the Ravens fear he may have this injury. It's like, yeah, we hope that fear will be wrong, but we ain't really got that much hope that it will be wrong. So it's, it's, it's like, man, like, what is it? I don't get it. Uh, Ian Rappaport did a follow-up and said that Marcus Williams has full movement and the pain is limited, but it's very swollen. Source said the MRI will tell the story. So look, man, we we ain't gonna trip too much about this, even though I, it ain't looking good. But um, we'll just wait and see. We'll, we'll, we'll wait and see, like we got to do really with anything. Uh, but we'll wait and see, and then I guess Ravens will go from there and plan accordingly and whatnot and see. But man, this. This sucks. This really, really sucks. But hopefully Marcus Williams end up being okay. Because that, like, man. And we ain't even got MRIs on Ronnie Stanley and Tyler Linderbaum yet. We only on the, we, we ain't even get the second MRI. We only got the first MRI yet. That took J.K. Dobbins out for the season. Now we're waiting on second, thirds, and fourth. So we'll see what happens when we get there.